In July, it was announced at City Council that a butterfly habitat and pollinator garden would be placed in the northwest corner of Veterans Park. It now is a reality. The construction happened uh, early December, the first week of December. And uh, literally the day before the snowfall, we were able to plant uh, the bulbs that you see popping up. This, of course, is the garden's initial planting. We had hoped uh, that we might be able to get some perennials in uh, before the winter, but that was not the case. The garden committee boasts three master gardeners. They are literally planning what plants will be going in. Carla describes what kind of flowers make up the garden. Will be all kinds of uh, plants that will attract uh, butterflies uh, and the monarchs uh, and various uh, pollinators of all sorts. The butterfly habitat and pollinator garden personifies a community coming together. This is a very exciting community project and we consider this to be a, a project that will continue to grow. Part of that growth is a water feature as well as a creation by a local artist. We're finishing the fundraising for a sculpture. It'll be a monarch sculpture uh, by uh, the Omaha artist Matthew Placek and uh, it will be beautiful. The sculpture will be quite detailed. It will have two uh, monarchs at the top that are five by six monarchs and will just be glorious. And uh, they'll be on the top of a 16 foot tower. So um, we hope to have that at the head of our butterfly as well as our water feature. Carla points out that this project couldn't and wouldn't happen without help and involvement of the Papillion area. This community was extremely generous in the middle of COVID to help us raise the funds that are necessary for this garden that we hope will go on for many, many years and generations. Learn more about the butterfly habitat and pollinator garden in a future Papillion Now story. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantaleon.